Okay, it's it's six o'clock, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We'll start with our pledge, and then if Commissioner Patton, if you'll do our prayer, please. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. Liberty and justice for all. Our holy and loving God and Father in heaven, we come before you this evening, ask you to bless us upon us as we enter into this meeting. Pray, Father, for wisdom and patience that we might make the proper decisions for the citizens of this town and be for the benefit of all concerned. Be with tonight, not just tonight, but always. Lead, guide, and direct us in Christ's name. Amen. Good, Amen. good job. I'd like to welcome everyone out tonight on this nice chilly day. Uh, <laughs> no, not a nice chilly day. <laughs> we'll start off with the approval of that. And I don't know what. Make a motion we approve the minutes. Second. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item of the, the bills. I make a motion and we pay the bills. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. 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 Opposed, same. And that motion passes. Old business, the 22-23 budget amendment. Okay, but that's not a budget amendment. Okay. Wait, I'm confused. It should have been done. Second reading. Second reading. Well, it shouldn't say amendment. But it should be open business because we've already had the first reading. So. Yeah. So, but this is the the 22-23 budget second reading. Can we go ahead and I make a motion we accept that? If you want, is it okay to say that? Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Any changes? I can give it, I can no changes. I can give it this and then let it go what we're doing. Okay. Not but there are no changes from the first one. Okay. Okay. Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. New business. First item is the eye insurance. Yes. I should, we have discussed it briefly. The, on the employee side, is the new budget is added in there for eye coverage. Uh, Amy is waiting for paperwork. $21, per employee in the month. That is something, uh, something we put in our new budget. Uh, I should have, should have had, we had a few brief discussions a couple of others, but I should have told them about that. It's going to be a chaos of interest. Would either commissioner be eligible for that? Right. Would commissioner be eligible? eligible for it? Commissioners. Possibly. Uh, since it was a specified outcome, it was added to an Amy one minutes to where, I guess y'all voted on it. It was approved. Case well, if you can find that out, I'd appreciate it. Okay. I move to approve the eye insurance for the employees. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, same by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. <coughs> motion passes. The next item I would like to have moved down to after closed session. Uh, we'll go to discuss in closed session because it is part of a contract with the MOU. It's a grant the city's received, but we can't announce it until June 29th. So I've got to be careful. We've got to be careful on what we do with that, but I gotta let everybody know so we can approve that MOU. So if y'all don't mind, we'll move that one down. Uh, Commissioner comments. James, you have anything? No, things seem to be going pretty good. Uh, I do want to say this about the pickleball. <laughs> <laughs> I had somebody to show me an overhead view and they were really bragging on what we had done and, and it, it really does look nice. Thank goodness, Kevin has really helped us on that. Well, y'all, they are, they are <coughs> dying for y'all to come down for the grand opening. When is it? August. Door prizes too? Don't ask me why. <laughs> yes, they are. They are giving away like they're giving away like a thousand dollars. Oh wow! Of stuff up there. They're going to give away a bunch of stuff. It's going to oh. be pretty impressive. They got the the, the, net, the newspapers, the OC Monitor. They got OC in the Times. They've got uh, Channel 14 News coming. They've got. The Orangeboro Messenger coming. I mean, they got when a lot of people coming. Whenever they have it, they've already lined them out to come. In yeah, August. 
but in August. That's what I said. I said, y'all realize how hot it's going to be in August? Well, it's hot in June, so I don't guess it matters. But I'm just wondering why I wait that long. It'd be hot in October. That's right. <laughs> All right. Sandy? Um, one thing, uh, there is a young man that has contacted me about closing part of a city street just for a few hours for a block party. And he asked me what I was required to do that. And I said, well, I don't really know because I don't think we've ever done that before. And actually that's where I was, was driving to see where point A and point B were. And um, points A would have to be adjusted down a little bit because it has that back entrance that comes into Young's. The date he's asked about is July the 4th. As far as I know, he still wants to leave it July the 4th. So. My Which street is he cutting off? Bristol, Bristol. Road. Yeah, I didn't hear that. He said when he was, I didn't say it, I'm sorry. He said when he was a kid, they did that, and that's just something that he would like to do again in the community. And. Well, Larry said they did do it. Okay. It's like, for our time. Like but. Charles here, we closed it down. Oh, just, okay. for, just for a couple hours. Yeah. They had to make sure to pick up the trash, everything else on the road, or something like fireworks. Yeah. They did okay. Yeah. 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 The, but I wonder if, if trucks will be running since if it is on 4th of July. They should. It's on a Monday night. Still, I would just. I would check a lot of time. Well, to even. Keep see for sure. I would keep it open regardless, just because they yeah. do have people and there. And we wouldn't have to scoot it down, but just yeah. a little they bit. They do have people there around the clock. You never know when something may happen. To exactly. Me. That's true. That is true. Um, let's see. I made notes for myself. There's supposed to be a guest coming tonight and something that I was going to talk about, she's going to talk about. So hopefully she'll be here soon. Do you know when she's coming? <laughs> Dawn, over to you. You probably didn't even know she was coming. I have no idea. Okay. Are you going to do visitor comments before? Well, we can always do them again. Okay. Okay. You good? Charles? I'm good. Kevin? I'm good. I'm not. I'm not gonna say anything. Tonight. I'm good. We heard that last month. Av, <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything? I know you've been close session, but okay. Larry, do you have anything? Uh, yes, I have one thing here. Hank Williams Junior Concert is scheduled for August the twelfth. It's on a Friday, so that means that everybody that's coming, the six thousand participants that are coming, are going to be here Thursday night or Friday morning. Uh, we've never had a concert of this magnitude. This is going to be double our population that's going to be in town. Uh, I would ask that the commission allow me to take some of my workforce or all of my workforce to the park early Friday. That's a good question. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll make sure we get our daily jobs up here, but we may have to shut down the office early. If it's extremely hot, we'll help, you know, serve water, keep people cool. Uh, you know, this, this is a concert that we definitely don't need to fail. Uh, I would just make sure that I just want to make sure that everybody's okay about doing that. And I'm fine. Be open to parking really all, all from Thursday night on. Yes. I do have. We, he asked me a question. He asked where we're going to park everybody, and I said, well, a lot of times we want to park people down here. But I tell you, August 13th. There is a guy. There is a guy over in Owensboro yeah, right. at down by Diamond Lake that does go karts. Not golf carts. Golf, golf carts. carts. Yeah. Said go karts. Golf carts. He's got one that'll haul. I think it's nine people at one time. And if we could use that to show people from here over there, I think it would really help. Does he rent his services? Yeah, out? he said he would rent it to us for a night. Hmm. Well, you know, we got the no. nine acre. We got the nine acre. Yeah, we decided. That, well, I didn't know because you know no, how people we'll drive about how far they have yeah. to walk. Well, I say we go up to the Notre Dame football games and walk ten blocks. I know. Everybody else too. does. So if they want to go to a concert, they can walk like the rest of us. Oh, well, along the weather hole, we got the parking down there. Yeah, it's just it's what happened, and I don't think the concert goers. Are the problem it's the local people that's the problem i think the only thing on that field you may want to look at doing because we run into a lot when those parking cars is maybe get some signage out there on the park side that states that it's overflow parking and not to block the entrance we would constantly have to run cars off where they're going to want to park there where that ramp is where it's yeah, yeah. The field. So you may want to look at get some signage or something and hopefully we'll have any of the concrete or the blacktop so it's just well, not going to be just rebel. Are you going to arrange for anybody to help with the parking? Because oh, yeah. there won't be the help to fill the board to Yeah. Okay. Why oh, you want to go? Can't get tickets, so you can't have luck. What time is the, are the gates opening that night? Do you remember? I'm assuming at 5 30. I have an extra ticket. Okay. Okay. I wonder if it'll be the first home football game. You might want to open it up. There is not a game because football is helping. 
with security. Thank and, goodness. Yes. Good, because I thought it was the first time. They're doing security? They're I thought maybe this was oh, the really? first Some home football game. On the upper lawn. <laughs> Probably the main zone. Okay. Quite that make sure that well, it always seemed like it's 5,000 degrees. You know, bad place. They're bringing, I think, 40 parents and 40, 30 kids. Fantastic. That are coming. Yeah, you better get a t-shirt. Make it all look like. And I'm still waiting for Lincoln Road. He's turned me on to a white guy. Someone with the band. Oh, somebody with the band. Steven. And I asked him, I said, what's your number? Because we, we went after the two largest groups to get your help. Uh, so I'm still two waiting later. for him with his numbers. The last time he sent me, he was sent 10 pairs. And I said, well, we need at least 30. Okay. So, yeah, Steven. Yeah, Beth, that used to do it. She teaches at the middle school. Well, we've talked to we've got different groups doing different stuff for different concerts. Yeah. We had a bunch of them that contacted I don't think FFA was one of the volunteers wanted to do anything. Else. Yeah, I don't think they were because we reached out because we make donations in lieu of. Them. Well, we got a new, got new teacher coming, so I don't know. Well, but we got to know now. We can't wait till August. Yeah, so. Good idea. I think that would be probably. Anything else you got left? Yeah, probably. Yeah. We've got a problem. Shelby? Come on, Shelby, say something. David? Mike? Him? Yeah, I didn't know how to address the court or get on the agenda. I'm, some of you know me. I'm Sherry Ashley. Just do it. Yeah, you say you're, you're here. So. <laughs> we're lords well, and thank you for having me. I've never been to uh, one of your meetings. But I represent Tamerlane Industries. I'm on the board of directors. And I, I do have immediate need. We have a large facility. Uh, some of you may be aware, but we've got a 200,000 square foot building. And a lot of, a lot of dust has collected around and obviously like everybody else we're strapped for manpower. Um, I'm, I'm asking if the city would be willing to bring their street sweeper and at least help us you know, get some of the dirt up. You talk about, about inside the building, right? Inside the building, yes. How, what's the dimensions is on it, that pole sweeper? It's it, not very large. Is it even more? We're having, yeah, it does, but we're having a hard time manpowering it for ourselves running on the streets. We actually, at the last meeting, talked about getting a new so one or submitting out because ours is. I don't know if it works inside, therefore, or not. It's old, it's pretty isn't old. it? Yeah. 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 So, and you probably need that done pretty soon, don't you? Well, I'm, I'm behind the ball. We're actually having uh, guests from our main account. They're coming Thursday, and, you know, just trying to realize we weren't going to. We're not going to be able to get the plant in the best presentable position, uh, so I had that idea. But obviously, it's probably. Have you tried a rental company that would rent one to you? Uh, well, no. There's a place on 54, and yeah, I can't think of the name of it. Still but, cost. Yeah, it's still a cost. I, wonder I understand that. If you mention what it's for, because do you all have 501c3 status? Yeah, we do. You're not confident, right? Maybe and then, how long you know. A lot of that? times, if you. It's for something like that. Sure. People right. are more willing. We do. Yeah, to we help. do, but yeah. I usually for kids and cats. I can usually. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this well, is going to be now. for kids, yeah. or this is going to be I'm for terms, cats. <laughs> but if you if you if you want me to, I can call that purple six people and see if they've got one and see what it would cost to rent it. And they may donate it, like I said. Yeah. Would they? Yeah. Sure. We or we can call. I mean, I'll be in the plant all day tomorrow. And then separately, uh, you know, I, I guess I wanted to approach the commission about, you know, any support that you guys could also give us. It's, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to get our wages up. We're really having a tough time getting labor in the current market. Um, of course, you know, customers, they want lower prices in the midst of everything going higher. So, you know, we're in a quandary of, that balancing act. So any support, you know, the city could help financially uh, would be appreciated, you know, or help us uh, with the plant and grounds. I mean, we have grass mowing needs. We do need some gravel for our employee parking. Uh, we do have a big pallet mess to clean up in the back. Uh, I've got lots of options. And then thirdly, we would, uh, could use some help in having someone to source grants for us. We, 
we're very flat line. We don't have a lot of uh, supervisors or managers. We don't have full-time staff to just search for grants. But if, if y'all have someone that does that for you, we really can use that resource. You said pallets. Is it, because I know a lot of people use pallets to make stuff. Right, sure. It's just, Are, is this where people could come? You could say, hey, we got free pallets. Come load up your truck and take them. There may have been a point where that used to, you know, could have happened, Sandy, but it, they're just a big pile, and a lot of them are broken, and there's weeds. It's, it would be very difficult. Gotcha. The liability issue, too. Yeah. And, and, right, safety, yeah. for sure. Liability issues. So you just would like them hauled off, if nothing else, right? Uh, you would like them hauled off, if nothing else? I would, else? yeah. We did, uh, we did do about eight loads last year. Of course, it was very expensive. Let me ask another question, David. <clears throat> no, we couldn't right now, but could they be burned? No, we not at all. Oh, oh, Chris David's already. I wondered that. They That's reason why I was why like David was back there. Been through <laughs> the whole circle of that. And if you hold them on Wednesday, would you have to pay the fee since they're in Ohio yeah. County? Would they still have to pay the fee? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, that's just for residential. That's just residential garbage. Now, however, the landfill, when we hauled off a year ago, I did negotiate a lower, you know, tonnage rate, and, and that helped, but... How much time do you have left? How much time do you have left? I'm not aware, sir, that we were given a time to haul off. Well, you said people were coming. No, that's different. Oh, no, that's that inside. Yeah, no, as far as I'm, I know, I'm not... That's the, do you know David? No. Well, hey, I know him. Okay. He's the fire chief and also code enforcement. He's a good. He's a good guy to have him. Right. Contact. His wife used to work for us. Ah. Gotcha. That's a lot to throw at you guys. So. I'm I don't recall. Uh, oh. No, I do. No, we, we got yeah. some sleeping here together. Well, we're in the city limits, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, our water bill, that would be. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. It's not that high, actually. It's like $90 a month. But How much? It's about $90 a month. Wow. Let us do some thinking. Maybe we'll, amongst all of us, get our wheels a turn. Yeah, we could. I could do some help. We appreciate it. It's a wonderful facility. I've known lots of uh, folks that have worked there and do still work there. And I'm, I'm happy that they have that opportunity. You probably knew Tony White. Yes. I grew up next door to him, so right. everybody knew Tony out there. <laughs> right. Right. That, that really hurt our people. Yeah. He was our law, uh, our eldest client. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So then we did lose another one uh, during COVID, so a client. Be happy to have anybody come visit anytime you guys want to make a call, come out, take a look. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Justin? Hi, did you come running? <laughs> uh, so I'm Dawn Overton. Some, some of you don't know me, some of you don't. Um, I just wanted to come to speak uh, just for a moment to see, just kind of get it on the radar if it's not, um, regarding potentially adding some ADA playground equipment somewhere within the city. Um, Inclusive playground equipment that would allow kids with disabilities to um, be able to um, play in, in different areas, and different. It, and it may, and, and I don't, it may already be something that's been, you know. I We've ordered the playground equipment for the ADA this fact before, and the first set we got in was just a bunch of junk. Well, we actually, actually, we got the main brace up. We was waiting on the crown rubber we got two months ago. 
Okay. What about, okay. We've got an 88 equipment at the park, don't we? Well, we had the swings up here. We're right on the front rubber. So okay, yeah. okay. Well, at the park, not all yes. of them, but at the... Correct. Okay. They're already here. We just went <laughs> to the front rubber, which is the stuff to put down underneath. Okay, so, we are, so it's already in yeah. the... Yeah. What did you the, say? The, the, the framing's in it. We have not put the swing up yet, or we've got to put the, the barricade back down, and then the front rubber on top. Jake, what is it? Is it a swing? It is a, I, I think, best I remember, because it was last year. I knew we were talking about it before, it's but I didn't have a platform. You can actually put a, put a wheelchair. Platform to put a wheelchair yeah. up a wheelchair on the swing. That's yeah. what James said. They have it way lunch. Okay. And then they yeah. have another there's, type of swing. I mean, and that's what, there's, there are so many options. I mean, and so many places around, like, I think Central City just opened one. I know the one that's more downtown. My brother-in-law happens to be the city manager over there. So I know the one they're putting My in. My cousin. It's totally <laughs> inclusive. It's, I mean, and Central City just opened one, and I just, I, you know, I just, and we're, we're, we invested in a lot and do a lot here in the city. It's been great, and I just think that's something we don't want to let fall. Yeah, and we had done, and we ordered one before that that we were going to put, and it wasn't any good. The swing wasn't any good. Yeah, I didn't. I was like, did we put one on the other swing? Thought we did. I thought we've already had the one down there. That, I knew we didn't have the, the, the big wheelchair big one, platform, yeah. but I thought there was I think a, a small blue one. I don't think there's anything over there. Are you talking about in, at the Beaver Dam Park? Right. Separate, uh -huh. City Park? I don't. I don't think there's anything over there that's exclusive. <sighs> Even if it was, to be honest, with the, I mean the way that the the bottom, you know, I, I don't know that there's even an opening, but I don't think there's an opening to get onto it, and then it's not the greatest. But that's with that crumb rubber. That's where we run into problems. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. It, I mean. I'm just, yeah. I'm, You know, the, I wonder what Wayland has because they have one of those platform swings and they have kids in wheelchairs. I wonder, I may go over and look at theirs. I don't know if they have I don't know. Because I didn't think about that. But I think this one is a surround deep, thing. Would be at the edge. Yeah, because the black surround thing, they're, and I don't, they're main here. I don't think they're around down here anywhere. No, uh, I've not studied it, I have not looked at it. So, so I will, oh, I will go live out there right. and I'll do our best and stuff, but it's like Miracle, and I'm sure that, I mean, they're just in Litchfield, and that's the company that we're going to come to use. There's an abundant, and a wide range of prices, you know, because mm -hmm. that's inclusive and available, you know, that can be looked into. Yeah. I think that platform, if, and again, I'm going from memory because I know that was last fall, and then the weather guys, but. I think the way we were planning on doing it was going to be leaving some of that edging off where they could, and it's going to be close to the edge of the chrome rubber, where that platform has pretty good, easy access to it. I'll drive out there when water. we leave, Don, and, and, and check it out. Because I was just out there at the playground on um, the car show day, but I don't remember. I had a little wild child that she wasn't interested in swinging. <laughs> she had to move. <laughs> I mean, I think the platform would definitely be a great start. I, don't, I didn't think you don't want to stop it there. I'm, I mean, maybe if you added a little bit every time there was an opportunity, you know, just to, so that there is a lot of options for those kiddos. And that was the other thing that I was going to talk about. I was going to ask about getting a swing at um, either park, both parks, you know, it would make me really happy. Park, parks commissioner down there. What? I said, I'd love Pickleball. to see that. Here. I'd love to see a, a swing for, I, I usually say kids with all abilities to use. Yeah. Um, You're going to have to come up with a lot more money. Well, that stuff's she expensive. said there's a lot, you know, she has a book there's there. A, I mean, I've got, it's like, this, there's a wide range of prices stuff and there's a lot of sensory input stuff or like your office for like a lot of you're talking about the stuff the boards and stuff that they do and with their hands well and stuff. i mean every you know that, that there's just a wide wide range you know so i mean i'm not saying obviously some of it you can go super duper expensive but then there's also options that are not super duper expensive that could potentially be a starting what price range is the not super duper expensive um, i mean there was well i'm sure all that around but there was some stuff i mean I mean, I'd be glad to share, like, go and look at it. I bought this from Brad, actually. This is Morgantown, this is FI. <laughs> but, 
What's the name of it? Miracle. Miracle. Mm -hmm. Just. It's a miracle. I get, the, of I get the one she's holding up there, but I don't get the miracle one. Miracle of Kentucky, Tennessee, and they're in Litchfield. That's and awesome. Maybe it's actually it's another park. They're good in Morgantown School Park right now. I mean. It's, like I said, and I think people see, I mean, there may just be places to go visit when Morgantown does get done. Just go check it out. Central City just opened an ADA playground. Um, I was planning on going to see that. I'm sure there's stuff out there. I don't know. I'm not pretending to know all that. I just, playground uh, I don't have a solution expensive. necessarily. I just kind of have, just want to see this stuff stay on the radar. And we put more priority than potentially, but I mean, I would be glad to show some of it. <laughs> They're probably online. That's why I was asking the name of America, Kentucky, and Tennessee. We can probably find that online. Yeah. Oh, website. If yeah. everything's on there. And you can go straight to, like, inclusive play. And then, and then if you click on the inclusive play option, then it'll show you, like, all the stuff that's included. I mean, it might be some sensory stuff, some ADA stuff. It's a huge variety. Some of it even shows, like, if you had an open area. Yeah, on the, like, say, at the mm -hmm. end of the downtown where there's the open where there's the picnic tables mm -hmm. and there, like some of those sensory boards could even be put in like somewhere like that and make it's it just threw that out there like think about i mean in concrete areas um mm -hmm. it's not necessarily playground equipment but right play equipment, so. <laughs> okay well we appreciate you coming and Thank like you. i said I, we will check on this other because we do have the swing to go up i knew that one that's good to know okay I probably knew it and forgot it. Yeah, we had, we had, we had actually, we actually ordered it through here on, mm -hmm. on in a session. Yeah. Okay, I entertain a motion to go into closed session. So moved. moved. Second. All right. Third part of the We shall be back. We shall return. I want mine back. Will you be quiet. The secret thing. You talk a lot. I'm not going to order So I'm giving it back to you. You may make a motion that we go back into open session. I make a motion to go back into open session. Second. Yeah. Okay, we did have the closed session, and of course, no business was enacted upon in there. But I will entertain a motion on the MOU for the grant. We I move to approve the MOU for the grant. Second. We have a motion and second on the MOU for the grant. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. I'll make a motion.